Marissa. I'm here at Main Street Yoga, and um, we are doing a vinyasa class this afternoon. Um, next week I'll be coming at you with some yin, but today we're just going to find a little bit of power. Uh, I don't know about you lately, but I've been feeling kind of dull and off, blah, needing a little bit, I don't know, more, more than what I've been feeling. So, um, come on into a, a seated position with your legs crossed. Uh, and, and any leg in front of the other is totally fine, but find a comfortable seat. And if you have a block at home and would like your hips to be higher than your knees, that's, you know, an option. Otherwise, again, any seat is a good seat. And so then take the palms of your hands to the insides of your knees. And so you're just going to find this really gentle, seated, grounded position. And you'll take a moment to really feel in to how you've arrived on your mat. Noticing your breath. How it moves through you. Taking a few moments to scan your body, to notice where maybe there's tension, a feeling of stuckness. sense of dullness in your body. And as you scan and make yourself aware, step outside of the role of a critic. And can you bring in that awareness of a mindful observer? Taking time to recognize, to feel, but not to punish, not to judge, knowing that our situation is unique, that this day isn't like the day before, won't be like the day after. And begin to find a little bit of ease. Notice the sensation in the palms of your hands as they rest gently on your knees. Notice that connection of your sit bones with the earth. And imagine this grounding sensation here. So it's as if your sit bones and the earth, they become one. Not body on earth, but body and earth. And as you root down through your sit bones, see if you can lengthen your spine, sit a little taller, a little prouder. Notice where your chin wants to go. If it's jutting out, pull it gently back toward your throat. And as you inhale, imagine your manubrium, your solar plexus, it gets a little bit lighter. It's almost as if it drives itself up toward your chin rather than your chin sinking a little lower. And to notice the breath as it moves through you. So if your body, your bones are earth, can you find the breath, the wind, and the lightness that exists there? Breathing in through the nose and allowing that breath to draw through the chest and all the way into the belly. Pause at the top of your fullest inhale. And through the nose, move it back out of the belly, through the lungs, and then out of the nose. Inhale, fill, 
next inhale, begin to tether your navel towards your spine. Find that connection, the belly, where the fire exists. Allow the breath to begin to stoke that flame. And breathe out through the nose. Keep all of those same adjustments and begin to constrict the back of your throat. Bring that ocean-like quality, the sound of water as you inhale. And the rhythm of a wave as you exhale. One more, a little bit of breathing practice. Keep your body as it is. Bring your hands to your heart. Focus on an inhale, filling all the way up. Pause at the top. Focused exhale. With that same intention or attention on your breath, call to your mind that sense of caring that you have for someone, for multiple someone. And this time as you inhale, inhale, and feel that sense of caring at the same time. Pause at the top. As you exhale, send that care to all beings everywhere. Same intentions as the first two, the focus on the inhale. Find downward facing dog, send your hips up and back. Then 
take a moment to walk out your dog, bending one knee and then the other, feeling the hamstrings, the calves, even the soles of your feet stretch as you move. Then keep that steady breath. So if you let that go, can you bring it back? Then you'll slowly begin to bring that dog to a stop. Soften your knees just a bit. Reach your heels toward the earth. And then imagine that you're spiraling your inner thighs in. Watch your big toes come to touch behind you. Slow count to the count of five. You'll lift your right leg all the way to the sky. So one, two, three, four, five. Stack your right hip on top of your left. Bend your right knee. And then ground your left heel toward the earth. Keep your gaze steady at your left big toe. Full breath in as you press into the hands. Full breath out. Three-legged dog, right leg extends. Can you reach through the right heel as you pull the right toes toward your shin? Full inhale, right foot meets the left as you exhale, high plank. Softness in the elbows, reach the heels back. Gaze is at the top edge of your mat. Press on to the tippy toes. Exhale, lower all the way down, but don't allow the shoulders to drop. Slide your fingertips back towards your low ribs. Press into the toenails, low cobra, breath in. Exhale, lower. One more time, low cobra, as you inhale, squeeze the elbows closer. Exhale, low. Tabletop breath in. Child's pose as you empty. Sit your hips back towards your heels. Full breath in. Full breath out. Tabletop inhale. Tuck the toes. Downward facing dog as you exhale. Slow lift of the left leg. Count of five. So one, two, three, four, five, stack the hip, bend the left knee. Send the left knee a little higher as you root the right heel down. Keep pressing firmly through the hands, full breath in, breath out, three-legged dog, extend, pause here. Then as you exhale, step the left foot between the hands. Right foot meets the left, forward fold. Taking a moment to bring your hands to your calves, allowing your chest to be heavy. Crown of your head reaches toward the earth. Find a halfway lift as you inhale, palms to shins, you lengthen the spine. Exhale, fold forward. Halfway lift, full breath in, lengthen, draw the shoulder blades together on your back. Exhale, fold. One more time, halfway lift as you inhale. Exhale, fold. Begin to bend the knees, lower your sit bones, your hips earthward, open your arms out wide to either side. Shoulders are soft, palms float on air. Press firmly through the heels to stand, reaching up with the crown of your head, allowing palms to connect above. Exhale, hands to heart. Reach long, breath in, press through the heels as you lengthen, and then forward fold, nose to knees. Halfway lift, full breath in. Plant your hands, high plank, pause here. You always have the option to come through Cobra, but if you're ready, you can rock onto your tippy toes as you inhale. Keep your elbows close, lower halfway down, Chaturanga. Find upward facing dog, breath in, rolling over the toes. Pause here, press into the tops of your feet, roll the shoulder blades back. See if you can engage the 
quads. Full breath in. Downward facing dog. Breath out. Full inhale. Full exhale. Watch your heels lift. Breath in. Bend your knees. Empty completely. Step your feet to the top. Halfway lift as you breathe in. Forward fold as you breathe out. Bend your knees, release your hips earthward, hands out wide. Inhale, come to stand, reach all the way up, palms connect to the heart. Empty. Reach long, inhale, dive and fold as you exhale. Halfway lift, breath in. Plant your hands, high plank, retain that inhale so your lungs are full. Chaturanga as you empty. Upward facing, breath in. Downward facing, breath out. Full inhale. Full exhale. Heels lift. Knees bend. Step to the top. Halfway. Forward fold. Hips lower, knees bend. Come to stand. Reach all the way up. To the heart. Reach long. Inhale. Let's see carefully. Interlace the fingers, pressing palms together. Release thumb and index. And then begin to sit the knee or bend the knees as you sit the hips low. Chair pose. So your upper arms frame your ears. Find that connection of heels to earth. Pull the shin bones back. And if you've lost that tether of your navel towards your spine, can you come back? Set the gaze just in front of you. Allow it to be strong and steady. From here, stay low in the hips. Breathe in. Hands to heart. So you're still in this chair pose. Press firmly into the right foot. Cover the left foot off the earth. So you're balancing on the one side here. Full breath in. Begin to lean the chest slightly forward. Step the left foot to the back. Dial the left heel down. And then keep your chest floating over your right leg. Open the arms out wide. Shoulders are soft. Palms kind of float. And then the elbows, instead of extending all the way, there's kind of a gentleness in that bend. Press firmly through the right heel, and as you inhale, reach the hands all the way up on warrior one. Full breath in. Sink a little lower, breath out. Inhale, reach. Listen carefully, exhale, hands frame the left or the right foot. Standing splits, breath in, lift the left leg high. Full inhale, left knee to the inside of the right. Take a look at your left elbow. Point the left toes like ballerina feet. Open the left knee toward the left elbow as you inhale and spiral that left leg back up to standing splits. Exhale, left knee meets the right. Inhale, spiral to the left elbow. Reach all the way back up with the left leg. Exhale to the right knee. Inhale to the left elbow, spiral all the way up. It's the last time you play with that spiral. Exhale, forward fold. Drop the hips earthward, bend the knees, come to stand, reach all the way up, interlace the fingers, release the thumb and index. Sit low, come back to chair. Full breath in, full breath out. Another inhale. Hands to your heart as you exhale. Press into the left foot, start to hover the right heel. Lean the chest slightly forward. Step the right foot to the back of your mat, dial the heel down. Arms open wide, chest stays hovering over your left thigh. Press into the feet. Inhale, lift the hands all the way up. And then sink lower into the left knee. And check it out to see where your left knee is going. If it's pulling in, can you bring it back toward the left baby toe? Full inhale as you lift a little higher. Sink a little lower. 
One more time, reach up, breathe in. Hands to the mat, frame the left foot, exhale. Press into the left foot, standing splits, breathe in. Right knee to the inside of the left, point the right toes. Inhale to the right elbow, spiral up. Exhale to the left knee. Inhale to the right elbow, spiral up. You might notice it's different on the side. Exhale to the left knee. Last time, inhale, spiral, open, breathe in. Forward fold, exhale. Right away, chair pose, breathe. To the heart, stay low. Press into the right foot, lift the left heel and hover. Step back, arms wide. Warrior one, breathe in. Let's add warrior two as you exhale. Steady your gaze over your left finger, your right fingertips. And then soften your shoulders down your back. So if they're scrunched up by your ears, you're just going to allow them to become heavy. You take your left hand to the back of your left hamstring and then reach the right hand to the sky. So here's your reverse warrior. Press the back of the left thigh into the left hand. Reach the right fingertips a little higher so there's a spread along the um, right ribs, the intercostal muscles. Full breath in. Then as you exhale, hands to the mat. Find standing splits. Inhale, lift the left leg high. Exhale, forward fold. Chair pose, breathe in. Hands to the heart, breath out. Press in the left heel, lift the right. Step it to the back, dial the right heel down, arms wide as you hover the chest. Warrior one, full breath in. Warrior two, as you empty. Pausing here. Coming back to that concept of the fire burning. Allowing that heat to build, to rise. There's that softness. And can you build that visual of the lungs helping support your arms? So it's not the strength of your periphery, right? Not the strength of your limbs. It's the organ itself. Right hand to the back of the right hamstring. Left hand reaches, reverse warrior. And then press the right hamstring into the right palm. Find space along the intercostal muscles on the left side. So there's this line of energy from the left hip all the way through the left fingertips. Full breath in. Hands to the mat. Frame the left foot as you exhale. Standing splits. Lift the right leg. Forward fold. Release. Halfway lift, breath in. Plant your hands, step back, chaturanga, one long exhale. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Take a moment to breathe. Full inhale. Full exhale, reach your tailbone a little higher. Big toes come to touch behind you. Slow lift, right leg. One, two, three, four, five. Full breath in as you press into the ball of the left foot. Reach the right leg a little higher. And can you spin the right pinky toe toward the earth? So instead of opening the inside of your hip, you're allowing your pelvis to square. Full breath in. Right knee to right tricep. Pause. Squeeze the abs. Three legged up. Right foot steps to the outside of the right hand. Pause here. You can stay on the ball of your left foot. Or you might choose to lower the knee. Leave the left fingertips, spider fingers, so fingertips only on the mat. Right hand to the top of the right knee. Then allow the right hand to drive the right knee forward. You should feel that stretch in the front of the left hip. 
Maybe you press into the left finger pads and slowly twist your chest toward the right thigh. Full breath in, full breath out. If you untucked the left toes, tuck them back under. Slowly release the right hand, keep your right foot where it is. Sit back into half Hanuman. So you have a different angle. You'll still fold your chest over your right thigh. Allow your chin to tuck toward your neck. Bring a slight bend into the right knee. Feel the belly of the hamstring as it works open. Take your gaze to your right big toes. Begin to make your way to a low runner's lunge. So you'll tuck the left toes under and hover the left knee. Fingertips on the earth. Pull the chest forward. Keep the left hand down, spiral the right hand up, dragonfly twist. Then kind of notice what's happening at your pelvic floor. Are you dumping into your legs? Can you press through both feet and find that weightlessness right there at the base of your spine and in your pelvic region? So here you catch that mula banda, that flotation. Full inhale, take your gaze up to your right hand. And as you exhale, watch your right hand come inside of or in front of your right toes. Come back to that curtsy variation with the left knee to the inside of the right. Left toes flex toward left shin, left thumb comes to your heart. On one inhale, begin to spiral the left limbs open, find balancing half moon as you lift. Soft bend in the right knee. And this working to stack the left hip on top of the right. One thing you can do is take your left hand to the back of your right ribs. And then use the left fingers to guide the chest so the right ribs will spin under the left. And then open the left hand back up. Full breath in. Listen carefully, yogis. Bring the left hand down. Step the left foot wide. Heel in, toe out. Right foot steps wide too. Find goddess pose. So your feet are as wide as the mat. Heels in, toes out. Instead of dropping your hips super low, can you press into the feet and lift them like an inch higher than what you're used to? Press the hands into each other. Take the elbows to the insides of the knees. Begin to widen your hips a little bit more. Listen carefully. On your next inhale, press through the feet. Come to stand. Reach all the way up. Turn the feet parallel. Dive and fold. So you're in a wide forward fold here. Halfway lift. As you inhale, palms to shins. Plant your hands. Tap the triceps with your knees. Step to the back of your mat, find Chaturanga. Upward facing, breath in. Downward facing, breath out. Gaze between the toes. Inhale and exhale. Big toes touch. Slow count of five, left leg lifts. One, two, three, four, five, pause. Press into the ball of the right foot. Turn your left pinky toe down toward the earth. Keep hugging the navel in. Inhale. Left knee to left tricep. Exhale. Pause here. Find some cat back as you round the spine. Three-legged dog. Press up and back. Step the left foot to the outside of the left hand. Right knee can stay lifted or you might choose to lower. Right hand stays down, spider fingers. Left hand to the top of the left knee. Then start to press the left knee gently forward as you feel the front of the right hip open. You might choose to press through the right hand and through the left and twist your chest toward the left inner thigh. Full breath in. And as you exhale, remove your left hand 
Face palms to your left big toe. Start to make your way to a low runner's lunge. Pressing into the finger pads to pull the chest forward through, through the feet. Right hand stays down, left hand spirals up, find dragonfly twist. And can you catch that buoyancy in the pelvic floor again? So instead of this heavy sinking, this force, can you ask your body to find a lightness? Gaze comes to the left fingertips. Take a full breath in. Watch the left hand come in front of the left toes as you breathe out. Make your way to that curtsy variation, right knee to the inside of the left, uh, right thumb to heart center. On your next inhale, begin to open, spiraling the hip and the shoulder as you lift the hand and the leg. Notice what happens in your left leg. If you lock out the knee, can you bring some softness back in? From here, if you feel that your chest is not quite centered with the right side, bring your right fingertips to the back of your left ribs. And then start to pull the chest through that opening. And then lift the left leg back up. Or left, sorry, right hand. Whew. Full breath in. Full breath out. Another inhale, listen carefully. Right hand lowers as you exhale, bring the right foot wide as the mat. Left foot steps out, back to goddess. Not quite so long here. Can you find that straight spine where the crown stacks over the tailbone? Full breath in, lift the hips up one inch. Stay for the breath out. Press through all four corners of the feet, rise all the way up, full inhale. Feet come parallel, dive and fold as you exhale. Halfway lift, breath in. Plant your hands, tap the triceps with your knees. Chaturanga. Upward facing, breathe. Downward facing, empty. Full inhale, full exhale. Heels lift, breath in. Knees bend, breath out. Step to the top. Halfway lift, breathe. Forward fold, release. Bend knees, release sit bones. Come to stand, reach all the way up. Palms connect. Sit into chair, hands at heart center. Pausing here. So we're coming back into a slight variation of where we were before. Press firmly through the right foot. Lift the left foot to hover. Okay, listen carefully. From here, your next inhale, find airplane. Left leg extends behind. Upper arms are along the sides of the body. And there's a lightness through the front of your chest. So all of that wind in the body, all of those values, they are helping support the front side. Turn the left pinky toe down toward the mat. Flex the toes toward the left shin. Full breath in, start to bend the right knee. Step the left foot to the back. Stay in that lunge with the lightning arms. Full inhale, full exhale. Come into crescent, breathe in, reach all the way. Sink a little lower, breath out. Pausing here, setting that gaze, that dristy just in front of you. Full breath, hands to hearts. Inhale, prayer twist as you exhale, left elbow to the outside of the right knee. Keep your thumbs at heart center. Squeeze your shoulder blades a little closer together as you drive your right sit bone towards your left heel. Full breath in. Stay for the breath out. Reverse warrior on your next inhale. So left heel dials down, right hand reaches up. From here, begin to press into the right foot, straighten the right leg. Right toes turn in, left toes turn out, find warrior two. So you're facing the back of your 
your mat now. Left knee guides toward the left baby toe. Shoulders soft. Full breath in. Breath out. Inhale. Right hand to the right thigh. Left elbow to the top of the left knee. So you're setting up for extended side angle. Press into the left forearm to open the chest wide. And then trace the side of your body with your right hand. And send your right arm overhead. So fingers go toward the back of the mat. So you feel this long line of energy through the right foot all the way through the right fingertips. Full breath in. Look to the inside arch of your left foot. Exhale, left hand or right hand down. Dial the right heel up, dragonfly twist. Left hand reaches, full breath in. Left fingertips in front of the left toes. Find that curtsy. Spiral the right limbs open, full breath in as you rise. Stay with the breath out. Another inhale. Right hand lowers, standing splits as you exhale. So the left or the right leg stays lifted. And then find pyramid pose. So the right foot steps halfway back. Find a halfway lift, pull the chest forward. Then fold over the left leg. Inhale. And exhale. Halfway lift. Step your right foot to meet your left. Forward fold. Bend the knees, release the sit bones, earthward, come to stand, reach all the way up as you rise. Hands to heart, find chair. Full breath in, full breath out. Press firmly into the left foot. Lift the right heel to hover, pause here. Press into the hands by that isometric pressure in the chest. Then on your next inhale, find airplane. Arms behind you, right leg extends. Turn your right pinky toe down to face the earth. So an internal rotation of the thigh here. Right toe swept toward the right shin. Can you find a little bit of up dog in your chest? Inhale. Start to bend the left knee, step the right foot to the back, find your crescent legs with your lightning arms. Then on your next breath in, crescent lunge. Keep hugging the belly in. Press firmly through the ball of the right foot. Reach a little higher, hands to heart, exhale. Fill up, breathe in, prayer twist, breathe out. You bring this kind of magnetic quality to your inner thighs as you squeeze them closer together. Draw the right 
right shoulder away from your right ear. Full breath in, full breath out. Take your gaze to your right, the inside arch of your right foot. Left hand comes down, left heel turns up. Find dragonfly twist, spiral the chest open as you lift the right fingertips high. Full inhale, right fingers in front of the right toes. As you exhale, find that curtsy on the next breath in. Stay for the breath out. Spiral open, balancing half move.
narrow knee child's pose. So in this narrow knee child's pose, you allow the chest to rest on the tops of your thighs and becomes more of a forward fold and less of a hip opener. Allow your forehead to rest on the earth. And you can keep your arms long in front of you, or if it would feel good to reach back and hold onto your heels, that might be an option that feels maybe even better. to release your heels. Walk your hands back, forward, so if they're underneath or you're making your way back to a tabletop position. So press into the tops of your feet as you rise. Start to move your knees back as you tuck your toes. Pressing firmly into the hands, into the, um, the toes, right? So you're getting ready for your down dog. Press into the feet to rock the front of the head forward. Lift the knees to hover. Press into the hands, back to the upper facing dog. Taking a moment to feel here, maybe you come back to that pedaling quality. Here you move one leg and then the other, and you tick tock your hips side to side. And you notice the changes that are taking place in your body. As you move and breathe, moment by moment by moment, can you reestablish that connection, not body on earth, but body and earth? Begin to slow down your dog. Big toes come to touch behind you. Right leg all the way to the sky. Maybe you move slow, I won't count, but I'll trust you to move in a slow, focused, intentional way. Then as you exhale, step the right foot between the hands. Lower the left knee down. Keep the left toes tucked. We're going to come into this in a different way. And then start to heel toe your right foot towards your left hand. Okay, trust me. And if you have a block or a towel or a book, it might feel good underneath your right hip. Lower the right knee down to the earth. So your right knee connects with the right edge of your mat. Right toes are flexed toward your right shin. And then with your left toes tucked, pick your left knee up. Move it back just a little bit. Move your toes, pick up the leg, move it back. So you're kind of levering your foot down or your leg, your hip a little closer to the mat. So for me, this is my max. You might get your hip all the way down. You might need to adjust your right heel so it's a little closer towards your left um, hip. Really, whatever half pigeon shape feels best in your body, go there. But when you find it, stay a little bit active. So rather than collapsing into the pose and allowing yourself to flop on your mat, can you be more present? Tracing the breath as it moves through your body. Maybe you psychically send that breath to the parts where you feel a little extra sticky. Allowing this to be restful, but also dynamic. Knowing that as you breathe, you open up these tight areas of the body, all of that fascia, all of that tightness begins to melt away. Well, the tightness does, not the fascia. Stay with it. pressure to the outside. 
outside of your right shin, the part that connects with the earth. Use that connection to articulate the right hip back. Press into the top of the left foot. Feel the left leg engage and get strong. Keep that awareness, that engagement. Draw your shoulder blades away from your ears and begin to pull them a little closer together on your back. The sides of your neck are soft. You're not dumping into your arms or your chest.
And then once you find that bow, begin to extend the hands toward the ankles, the feet, maybe the calves. And keep pressing into the heels as you press the toes slightly forward. So it's kind of like this acceleration. You're pressing the pedal. Now begin to move the toes back toward the shins. So you're pressing into the heels, you're drawing the toes back toward you, that dorsi flex. Notice how that changes the shape of your legs. Inhale, press the toes forward, just a little exploration at the end. Exhale, draw them back. Slowly release the feet for the calves, the ankles. You're going to sit all the way back up, reaching the hands long, finding length through the spine, through the front of your body. Hands to hearts. Begin to lay back down onto your mats. Knees hug into your chest. Gentle squeeze. If you want to take a twist before Shavasana, you have time. Otherwise, allow the legs to extend. Arms come out wide and beside you. Palms face up if you need a little something more. Palms face down if you need that last bit of grounding. Allow your body to be heavy. Breath and heart soft. moment to linger just a little bit longer in your Shavasana. Knowing that the energy you worked through the body, that fire that you moved through the bones, your marrow, your organs, your tissues, allow that to kind of find that place where it can not burn out. become this subtle lingering flame. And slowly make your way back to the seat, top of your mat. Hands plug in at heart center. 